What's going on guys? My name is Isaac and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own food ordering app without writing a single line of code. Okay, so first off you're going to want to go to appinstitute.com forward slash takeaway dash apps. Here you'll find the App Institute Takeaway Apps homepage which will walk you through all of the features offered by the Takeaway App Builder. But all we want to do is click start building and we will be taken straight into the content management system. Here we go. So really simple. Enter your business name in here. Let's say that we are a fish and chip shop. I'll put in Isaac's Fish and Chips. If you have a website, you can put your website in here. The great thing about this is that we'll be able to pull in the color scheme of your website and automatically put that onto your app. I don't have a website. This isn't a real restaurant that I'm building my app for, so I'm going to skip this step. And here I can enter my mobile number. I'm going to enter my mobile number. I'll blur that out so I don't get any unsolicited phone calls from my uh, lovely viewers. There we go. Continue. Full name, Isaac Crook. Email address, Isaac at ampinstitute.co.uk. Password, I'm not telling you that. So now the app builder system is gonna prepare our template. It's gonna put everything that we need to start building our food ordering app right in there for us when we get started. So let's get started. First off, we are in the theme section and we're looking at our color scheme, which is super easy to set, guys. You can actually go in and get your color scheme from your website, like I mentioned before. But if you don't have a website, you can just go in and edit each individual color for your app by yourself. There are pre-built color schemes in there that you can select. So just swap between them, it's super easy. We're gonna go with this one. I think that kind of suits the uh, fish and chips theme. Uh, you can also select different fonts. I'm gonna go with Montserrat. I think that's uh, it's gonna go quite nicely with our fish and chip shop brand. All you have to do once you've selected your color scheme and your font is click save and then move on to the images. So let's get on to the images. All you wanna do is click images, go to app icon or splash screen. Now the app icon is what you'll see on your phone's home screen when you're selecting your app and the splash screen will appear when your app is loading and also it has your home screen's background. Let's change the app icon first. Here's a couple of images I made earlier. We've got our app icon here, Isaac's Fish and Chip Shop, and our splash screen right here. And boom, there we go. Our app is all branded up to my fish and chip shop. Uh, if you want to create app icons or splash screens yourself, I would recommend using a tool like Canva, failing that there's plenty of designers on sites like Fiverr, which can help you, uh, help you to create an app splash screen and icon will make your app look really professional. Right, now we're getting to the uh, the business end. As this is a food ordering app, the most important part probably is the menu. Um, so let's get started on the menu. Um, with the App Institute App Builder, you're able to create a food ordering app for takeaway, for delivery, and also for table service. Um, and it's super, super easy to edit your content of your menu. So. The quickest and easiest way would be to upload a CSV with your menu on it. I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a second, but if you do want to do it manually, uh, that's also super simple. So let's take a look here. We've got uh, and a menu item. So we want to select what category we want it in. Uh, now this isn't really relevant to our chip shop right now because the template is based on a Thai restaurant. Uh, but if let, let's say that um, we're, a, we're a chip shop that also does chicken chow mein, we add our chicken chow mein here, add our price here, if it's in a subcategory, then you can add that there, five pounds we'll call it, add our description, um, and you can also copy menu options from different items um, if people can customize this particular thing. Now, we're not going to do it manually, we're going to do a CSV upload. So first off, I'm going to delete all of the pre-populated information that's already in our template. Super easy to do that. Click delete, okay. Delete, 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 delete. And then we have a blank menu. So using a tool like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, you can lay out your menu in this format. It's super important that you include category, name, price, and description. Those are essential 
The other ones are optional. You can have a image URL, which will show, uh, which, which will automatically populate your app with the image that corresponds to each item. Uh, if you have subcategories, then you can use the subcategory option there. Location, if you have multiple locations as well. But for this one, I'm doing for a fairly simple menu. I've just uh, put together a pretty classic chip shop offering. We've got different types of fish, we've got our pies, we've got our sausages, chips and canned drinks. So uh, using Microsoft Excel, this will be a fairly similar process, but we use Google Sheets. Here I am on Google Sheets, go file, download, comma separated values or CSV, download that. That's downloaded, import CSV, just drag that in here. Now, uh, I did mention this before, but if uh, instead of deleting stuff manually, you can just check clear existing menu to get rid of any of the existing stuff on there. Um, I've already uh, deleted mine, but let's just do it anyway. Save. Okay, that's fine by me. Importing. And there you have it. We have our menu in our app ready to go. Now, remember guys, before I showed you the options uh, option, and uh, yeah, we can do that here. Um, we've got our chips, which are small, medium, and large. Now, that's pretty standard for a chip shop, small, medium, and large. Also, what is standard for a chip shop is the option of salt and vinegar. So let's show you exactly how to add your options right now on the small chips. Here on there, add option. So the option is salt and vinegar. Okay. We'll edit that option now. Minimum number zero, maximum one. Yes, please. Price, no extra cost for salt and vinegar. And save changes. So, save item. And we now have salt and vinegar as an option. Super easy to copy that over to other items as well. Just click edit. Copy options. And there you go. It's in there on the medium chips. And let's just get it over onto the... Uh, large chips too. So all of our chips options now have the option to add salt and vinegar, um, which will make it super easier for customers to uh, customize their orders. Now that's perfect for pizzas if they have different toppings, um, things like kebabs, pretty much anything that you can imagine. Um, and you can obviously make it so that each option adds cost as well. So now, whenever you want to check how your app looks, simply click preview here and uh, let's see how it looks right now. So we've got our menu in here, click menu. And there we go, fish, pies, sausages, chips, and drinks, just like in our CSV file. Um, I'll show you how a customer would make an order. Dead symbol, they'll click fish, they'll select what they want. Let's say they want uh, some cod. Uh, they also want chips, they want a medium chips. Add to order. Uh, they want, uh, let's say they also want to throw in a battered sausage and uh, a couple of drinks. They want a Coca-Cola and they want a Fanta Zero. There you go, their car is full checkout and yeah here you go they have to make a account this is great because um, you'll be able to keep track of all of your customers you'll be able to know exactly who's ordered and you actually be able to tailor your marketing messages down the line uh, based on people's preferences what sort of things they like to order so um, it's really cool let's make an account right now my name is Isaac Crook and my phone number is this I need to blur this so you don't uh, See my address and my phone number. Rather not uh, get knocks on the door asking me to make you an app. Password. And there you go. Create an account. My account has now been created so I can go through with my order. Check out. Choose collection or delivery. You will also be able to add a table service option if you are a restaurant who um, you know, takes people who dine in. Um, this is a chip shop and we just do collection and delivery. Uh, I'm gonna do collection, I'll go collect my order. Uh, I can check which time I'm gonna collect it. I'm gonna go in at, uh, between 6.30 and quarter to seven and there you go. That order is now in there. And um, the great thing here is you'll be able to go onto your customers tab and you can see that the order is in there. So now Isaac Crook is in there. You can click edit. You can go and see uh, all, of, all of my details. 
what I've bought, put, purchased in the past. You can view that order and um, you can add tags. So if you want to add a tag, um, you can see that I've ordered a battered sausage. Maybe you have a special offer, two for one on battered sausages and you want to really target those people who love a battered sausage. There you go, add a tag, battered sausage lover. You can add that right there. So there you go guys, super simple. The CRM is a great, great way to personalize your marketing through your mobile app, through push notifications. Now once orders go through, they'll go directly to the email that you set up with your account, but it'll also go to a Android powered printer, which you can purchase from Goodcom. Uh, it looks a little bit like this, and they are a um, really handy way to get the orders directly to your kitchen from your app. So I would definitely recommend picking up one of those. And there you have it guys, it really is that simple to create your own food ordering app for your business without writing a single line of code. If you're interested any more in learning about how to promote your app or the other features within our app builder, hit that subscribe button below for more videos in the future.